Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on and welcome to Big Ten Reactions. Today we got some Big Ten Reactions we're going to go over. Obviously, a lot of these Big Ten teams did play against really smaller schools, so we're not going to talk about those. I'm only going to talk in this reaction video about the really important ones that I thought were important to the Big Ten. Of course, we'll talk Penn State, West Virginia. We'll talk Michigan State. We'll talk Dylan Riola in Nebraska. We'll talk Jeremiah Smith in Ohio State. We will talk UCLA. We'll talk Minnesota losing as well to North Carolina. Those are pretty much the main ones. I will go by standings as well, and I'll give a couple pointers on each game. Not going to go in full detail today, but first, of course, you are in the channel. Obviously, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, turn that bell on. We do our best to post on this channel every single day. With that being said, up next in the next video, you guys will have Big Ten predictions. Then you'll have Alabama high school football predictions for week number three as well. That should round out the day. We may or may not get another video done out there for you guys with SEC reactions. And then tomorrow you'll have, for sure, reactions, predictions, uh, probably a couple Dynasty modes in there, and then your Tennessee Titans rebuild. That should be done, by the way, might I add. So with that being said, all of that stuff, hit that like, subscribe, turn that bell on, as there is an NFL game today as well. Let's go ahead and hop right in to this Big Ten Reactions video. All right, so I'm just going to go down the list here of teams that are in the Big 12. Starting out with the first three, Illinois, Indiana, and Iowa all getting wins like they should have gotten. For Iowa, though, it took them a little bit for them to wake up in the first half. They kind of slowed things into it. And then second half, their defense came alive really well, and they, they got the win that they much deserved as well. So good job on them. For Maryland, same type of deal. They also got a big win against what? Uh, they, they got a big win against a really tough or a really good win in what they should have done. Now, Michigan, on the other hand, this game was very close. This this had that sort of slow rolling back in, could have been an upset for you guys to watch kind of thing. As Michigan does fall to Fresno State here, or does beat Fresno State, excuse me, 30-10. to 10. I wish they would have fallen to Fresno State. It took them a while to get going. The box score, obviously, says it right here for Michigan. The quarterback, Davis Warren, was 15 of 25, 118 yards, one touchdown, one interception on the day. Rushing, Mulligan, Mullins led the way. Donovan Edwards had a little bit of that in there as well. Receiving, they only caught a couple touchdowns. This Fresno State team played Michigan really close. And, uh, yeah, that game could have been an upset had it gone on or had Michigan not woken up. Now we'll talk Michigan State as they almost lose to FIU. This this game, or FAU, excuse me, Florida Atlantic comes in to Michigan, or, yeah, comes into Ann Arbor almost and beats, almost puts up a really good fight. East Lansing, not Ann Arbor, excuse me. Puts up a really good fight against the Michigan State Spartans. I know the fourth quarter was a very boring part of that game. I watched this game on Friday. That fourth quarter was, for the most part, really, really bad. Very boring game, for the most part. But FI, FAU played really well defensively. The quarterback for Michigan State was only 10 of 24, throwing the ball 114 yards, two interceptions, and no touchdown on the day. Both their rushing t or touchdowns came from rushing, as Keon Adams had nine carries for 101 yards. And uh, yeah, for FAU, on the other hand, 12 of 25, 116, one touchdown, two interceptions, was the quarterback. I think if they could have played a little bit better football in the fourth quarter, they definitely could have won that game as well. Now, let's talk Nebraska. Dylan Riola and the Nebraska hosting the UTEP Pioneers. I'm only going over this because this is Dylan Riola's first true start as a freshman at Nebraska. The kid can ball, and we saw this here as, uh, yeah, the, the kid can ball. 19 of 27, 238 yards, two touchdowns for Dylan Riola here, and zero interceptions on the day as well. Rushing, they got a lot done in there as well. Ramir Johnson was a notable one to highlight. Dante Dogwell had a touchdown on the day as well. And, uh, yeah, Malachi Nelson got in the rushing game a little bit as well. Receiving Isaiah Nayor, I believe he is a freshman for Nebraska. 
And uh, yeah, that is that's how this, that worked for Nebraska. They got the job done. Just wanted to highlight Nebraska as they get the win there against uh, UTEP in a pretty fashionable way. And up next in our next segment, there's a lot of teams in the Big Ten, but Northwestern almost falling to Miami the, of Ohio, which was crazy to see as well. I thought this game would have been a blowout for Northwestern. Guess I was wrong on that one. Mike Wright, the quarterback for Northwestern, was 18 of 30, 178 yards, zero touchdowns on the day. Rushing, Mike White had a touchdown rushing as well. Cam Porter was their leading rusher on the day. Nothing looked good for Northwestern. I think Miami of Ohio should have won this game. It's their quarterback, 23 of 37, 227 yards, two interceptions on the day as well. For, for Brett Gabbert, but uh, he did play significantly better than Mike Wright did for Northwestern as well. So Northwestern getting the job done in a really scary sight to see. Up next, though, is Ohio State. Only highlighting this because this is Will Howard and Jeremiah Smith's debut together in the regular season. We'll take a look at their stat line as well. Will Howard, 17 of 28. 228 yards, three touchdowns of the day, zero interceptions. Rushing, Quashawn Jenkins did have a touchdown. James Peoples also had a touchdown in there as well. Travion Henderson was the leading rusher in that game. Jeremiah Smith, bro, the kid can ball. Six receptions for 100 yards pretty much. Two touchdowns of the day as well. Kellen Tate caught a touchdown on the day as well as Ohio State gets a 52 to nothing win or 52 to 6 win, excuse me, in Jeremiah Smith's debut as an Ohio State Buckeye. Moving on is Oregon almost they it took them a little slow to get going against Idaho, but I'm not selling their stock yet. I believe in Dan Lanning. I like the roster that he's built at Oregon and I cannot wait to see what this roster is going to do. Again, you go to Oregon State, that's going to be a tough matchup here in the future. You go to Michigan, which another game is going to be a tough test. You host Ohio State. There are key games in there that you got to win and put your bet, bet forward. They do have a key game against Boise State here this weekend, which we will talk about coming up shortly. And, uh, yeah, Oregon should get the win against Boise State. Uh, but, uh, yeah, they get the win against Idaho could have been a little bit better offensively. It is the first game. They're getting their first game jitters out. Don't sell your Oregon stock yet. Keep it because it may do you some good in the future. You can cash it in come uh, January as well. But, obviously, Purdue, Rutgers, UCLA, USC, getting that big win over LSU. I'm not going to go into full detail on that one, but the other teams, they did get their jobs done like I expected them to. Miller Moss, 27-36, 378 yards, one touchdown. The defense for um, the defense for USC was really, really good, and uh, they held LSU to only 20 points. And with LSU saying that, you think, oh, Garrett Musmeyer's not going to be that guy. But trust me, Colin Lacey's going to wake up. Garrett Musmeyer is going to wake up, which we will talk about tomorrow in SEC reactions as well. We'll go deeper on the LSU side of things, I thought Miller Moss looked really well in that game. Um, uh, in that game against LSU, so uh, yeah, that is that one. Purdue, Rutgers, UCLA, Washington, Wisconsin, Minnesota getting wins as well. Penn State going into Morgantown. We talked about that one yesterday. I'm not going to reiterate that one, but uh, yeah, that are those are my reactions to the Big Ten games this weekend. Let's wrap up this video. Anyway, that is where I'm going to leave it for today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn that bell on. We do our best to post on this channel every single day. With that being said, I'm going to hop off, get this edited so you guys can watch it on time. Have a good rest of your day. If I don't see you all in another video, come back later as we have high school football predictions to get into. We also have Big Ten predictions to get into as well. We're going to get into all of that coming up here shortly on the channel. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Peace.